Yeah. In earnest, I love it. Um, yeah. Just side note, it's not Mr. Wasabi, it's Mr. Miyagi. Um, <laughs> but I do love me some wasabi, so it's okay. Um, next comedian coming to the stage is twice as impressive as Jesus Christ. You will learn that through his set, hopefully. If not, I'll tell you after it. That's why. Uh, give it up for Dennis Cruz! <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. You know, I just want, uh, at this point in my life, I just want the last words I hear not to be oops. <laughs> uh, you've heard the term angry drunk. I'm angry sober. I'm a total asshole till I get a drink in me. Then I'm a real nice guy. Some people might say that indicates a problem with alcohol. I just call that Tuesday morning. <laughs> I, uh, I uh, was, was, was drinking a lot and eating a lot of food, and I decided I, I needed to lose weight, so I uh, substituted alcohol instead of food. <laughs> Worked really well. You know, in a week, I lost a whole six days. <laughs> I, uh, I was in my doctor's office recently, and up on the wall, they had one of those drug advertisements, you know, bright and flowery wall hangings. It asked a simple question. What's keeping you from what you love? And I could only think of one answer. Laws. <laughs> and so I see my doctor and I say, doctor, I, you know, I, find, I tell her I finally quit smoking cigarettes. She goes, that's great. The best years of your life are ahead of you. The funny man that I am, I say, yep, all three of them. <laughs> Still looking at my chart without missing a beat. She says, maybe. <laughs> And, you know, I, I, I get it. Um, and, and i got to be honest with you, through injury and illness, you know, and even death, you know, it's a scary thing. It frightens me. But knowing that medicine is treated as a practice and that they can get it wrong is somehow even more scarier to me. For the last five years, I've been told I have six months to live. I've been declared dead twice. So doctors not always right <laughs> and uh you know uh it, it is hard to ask for a second opinion when you're in a coma uh. <laughs> and, but i but i do enjoy when, when i get a new doctor you know and they're not they didn't do their homework you know they didn't brush up on my case before i showed up and they greet me at the thing and they, it's it's always a little awkward like oh mr cruz good to see you do you have any vacation plans for the uh immediate future <laughs> and uh you know I, I i did see my doctor and we went over my physical and you know and and my, and my doctor goes you know i need to cut back on the sugar on the sweets the cookies i like cookies and uh she said sugar more addictive than cocaine and i gotta believe her because have you experienced oreos you know it's cookie goo and more cookie Although cocaine is easier to snort. <laughs> and, you know, now that I think about it, if you eat them, they're probably twice as addictive. <laughs> I, uh, um, you know, when people find out that I've, that I've died and come back, you know, they always go, they always ask the same question, what's it like to be dead? And I got to tell them it's really hard to explain, you know, because at the time, I was dead, <laughs> you know, the point where everything stops and you kind of cease to be, makes it difficult to jot shit down. <laughs> and you know, the first time it happens, they go, oh, it's a miracle. You know, when, when you die and you're brought back, it's... The second time it happens, you know, a little skepticism <laughs> is introduced. You know, maybe they didn't check the equipment properly. Doctor didn't wait long enough. Next time it happens, they're just going to go, he's just doing it for fucking attention. And then it's like my cover. He is risen. Dennis <laughs> Cruz. He's died twice as much as Jesus Christ. There you go. <laughs> Man.